Welcome to FNF Charting. Today we will chart our song. Things you will need. Cade Engine. 2 OGG files. One with the instrumental. And the other with the voices. Click the card above to know how to make the OG files. Go to your Cade Engine folder. Go to Assets, Songs. Make a new folder and rename it to your song name. Now drag in the two song OGG files to the folder. Now go back and go to Preload Data. Here, make another folder and rename it to your song name. Open free play song list.txt. Type your song name. Next type the character you will be using for the song. I will use Witty. Next the week number. I will put 7 here but you can add it to any week. Compile the game. Go to free play. Now if you try to play the song it will crash because it doesn't have a chart. Go to any song. Press 7 on the keyboard. This will open the charting menu. Choose the players. You can change the girlfriend version and the stage. Go to song data. Change the name to your song name. Click reload audio. Now if you press space you can hear the song. Change the BPM to your song's BPM. Now click reset chart. Add some arrows. Click save. Go to your Cade Engine folder. Assets. Your song folder. Save it. Now click save again. But this time add a dash and type heart. Save it. Do it again but this time type easy. Now compile the game again. Go to free play and play your song. Now press 7. Click reset chart. Start charting. Click to add arrows. Click them again to remove them. Press W or S to go up or down. If you hold shift it will stop snapping to grid. Here we have the icons for player 1 and player 2. If you place arrows under the player 2's icon the arrows will be played by player 2. Same goes with player 1. Let's go to the note tab. Here you can make hold notes. Make an arrow. And if you click here you can see a white line go down from the arrow. This is the length of the hold note. This can go as far as you want. The section tab. First of all this is a section. From here to here is a section. Every time a section ends you can change the camera position and many more. Here you can change the length of a section. Then we have the camera position changer. If you tick the box, 
the camera will be pointed to player 1. If not, it will be pointed to player 2. Next we have the copy, clear, and swap options. If we place some arrows and go to the next section, and click copy section it will copy the last section onto here. If you click clear section it will clear the section of arrows. And if you click the swap section it will swap the arrows to the opposite side. Now you start making your chart. After you're done remember to save it.